musically, that was one of the things that really excited me about the piece is that so many moments are really fragile, very, very tender, uh, just just really heartrending emotions. And then part of it is just brutal and uh, adrenaline filled and uh, visceral. And I just thought, how can really hard pounding music and very delicate, quiet music uh, coexist in the same score? And that was one of the things that made it exciting for me. Yeah, and, and um, I'll just add that our director, Alex Timbers, um, has captured both of those qualities of the show so brilliantly. It goes, as he puts it, and, it, and he's right, it goes from the um, intimate to the epic uh, on the stage in a way that has just not been seen. So um, we're pretty excited. You don't look up and you don't talk back and your odds are ten to none Like a weed that grows from a pavement crack toward a patch of sun You hide yourself in a tiny space as the voices rise and you go someplace where no one ever cries. We actually uh, took a train to Philadelphia, Lynn, uh, Tom Mien and I, and, and I brought a singer because I personally could not get in front of Sylvester Stallone and sing as Rocky. But my, he let me My sing head Adrian. would have exploded. So there Lynn, you go. Lynn was great. She was Adrian. I you know, played Adrian. Sort of almost has an Adrian haircut. I do. You kind of look at that. Little, you know. little, yeah. With the red and, on, um, good. So, so we went down and uh, Sylvester was uh, filming, or Sly as his friends call him. They, he was uh, filming Rocky Balboa. We had four songs and a piano that had 30 working keys. And I just said, all right, like Rocky, I'm just going to have to make this happen. I'm going to have to will this into being. And uh, we... Uh, played the first of the four songs, uh, which was the first song we wrote for the score called Fight from the Heart, uh, which is still in, in the score. And after hearing it, he took his massive fist and smacked the table and said, that's it. He, he and it, it was so emotional because, uh, you know, we wanted to do justice to his character, to his invention, and uh, to his performance, frankly. Yeah. And the fact that he thought we had really nailed and got to the center of what that character is about in one song. And then, of course, we had the Three more, so it was kind of anticlimactic, but it was it was a thrilling moment. And if it keeps on raining, I think I might float away. Yes, if it keeps on raining, I may. We haven't collaborated with him say he is a producer on the show and he's you know been very very helpful and has given some notes but you know he's left us to our I think he trusted us from the beginning and you know and and let us um, take the ball and run with it and we right. sure did so so there were there there was no like artistic mandate but you did want to honor the character you did want to honor honor the story and uh, he was with us at key key moments in the developing, including our opening night in Humber. Yeah, he took a bow in the boxing room with Sylvester Stallone. How often can you say that in this life? I know. <laughs>